In this video, you will learn how to select a niche or a few niches to use in your internet marketing business. A niche is a general subject or category around which your business will be built. Usually, you want to choose a niche that you are familiar with so that you can minimize your learning curve. For example, if you plan on working in the health and fitness niche but are 150 pounds overweight and have never seen the inside of a gym, it's going to be more difficult than if you are an experienced personal trainer or board certified nutritionist. When considering niches to build your business around, try to come up with subjects about which you are passionate, such as a hobby or interest that you currently have or pursued in the past. Other niches could include work experience, education, or informal training that you can use as the basis of building an expertise. As you begin to think about the niches you want to build your business around, Try to come up with subjects that genuinely interest you because the niches you select are going to be where you will be spending a lot of time for at least the next few weeks. If the niches you choose don't get you excited or if you find them boring, you probably want to find something else. The niche you select also should be something that your customers are going to want. The most successful niches have a lot of customers, includes a wide variety of different products that can be packaged in various ways, such as ebooks, software, video, audio files, slideshows, physical products, web-based services, and so on, and are mid to high priced. Once you have identified a niche you want to work in and you think it might have a lot of potential customers, the next step is to conduct the niche research. The best way to measure the size of a niche market is to determine how many competing products there are within the niche you've chosen. Begin with a simple Google search. If you selected a popular niche, your Google search for websites related to your niche will give you literally millions of different links in just a split second. The next step is to get involved in your niche's online community. Start by going to websites where digital product developers and marketers buy and sell new products and interact with other marketers such as Warrior Forum, Digital Point, JVZoo, and ClickBank. Your goal with niche research is to make sure that there is a high demand for that type of product. If there already are a lot of other products being offered for sale in that niche on these sites, it's a good bet that there is a large customer demand. If you're a relative newcomer to internet marketing, you may want to focus on niches that contain products that sell regardless of what's popular. These niches, known as evergreen niches, after the shrubs and trees that stay green all winter long, will always have customers because they either offer solutions to problems that can never truly be fixed or are so universal that there will always be buyers looking for products to help them solve them. Examples of evergreen niches include making money and getting out of debt, life problems, personal development and workout goals, relationships and dating, weight loss, food and cooking, and dog obedience. While evergreen niches usually have higher competition, if you offer high quality products in any of these niches, you can set up long term business because there will always be a market. When selecting products to promote, you want to try to find things that are unique. For example, if you're thinking about developing an online course about buying and selling gold, a quick Google search will tell you that there are already dozens of similar products being promoted that are exactly the same or at least very similar to what you have in mind. This doesn't mean you shouldn't choose this niche. If your products are superior, you can still succeed, but you will definitely want to make sure you come up with a unique selling point or appeal to a specialized customer base. Another stop on researching your niche is Amazon.com, the world's largest online retailer. Look to see if there are already a lot of ebooks in your niche. Amazon also provides a lot of helpful information such as how many other similar products are already in the marketplace, which are the most and least popular, and what price range you can expect to set your info product. Now we are going to go through an exercise that will help you select a great niche. When you're generally looking forward to talking with other people about a particular niche, that excitement is infectious and inspires customers to trust them. The best way to create a successful online business is to find something that you will happily spend your days talking about. To do that, we are going to do a little self-examination. Take out a sheet of paper and answer the following questions as quickly and as honestly as you can. Don't take too much time or think too hard about the answers. Just write down whatever pops into your mind. You can sort them all out later. What magazines do you subscribe to or have subscribed to in the past? 
What are the names of any newsletters, blogs, or other publications, online and offline, that you consistently enjoy reading? What jobs or industries have you worked in? What groups or organizations have you been involved in? What educational experiences have you had? These aren't limited to formal education, include such things as traveling to another country, apprenticing with a tradesman, or taking acting or improv classes. What hobbies or interests have you had from childhood to the present? If you have put some effort into this exercise and answered honestly, then you probably have a pretty sizable list. These are the topics that you have shown passion about, either now or at some point in your life. Use this list as a starting point. Spend a few minutes and boil it down to the top five that you think would be good niches for you. These are the niches in which you should base your online marketing business. I hope you enjoy what you learned today. Check back weekly for updated videos and lessons. Or better yet, subscribe by clicking on this link now to get more of these educational videos as they come out.